So I'm Philippa Browning and I'm a professor of astrophysics at the Jodrell Bank Centre for Astrophysics at the University of Manchester. A lot of my research in solar physics, although I've also worked on fusion, so I'm interested particularly in the atmosphere of the sun, uh, the solar corona, which is the bit you only see at a total eclipse, uh, so the outer atmosphere, and the interactions between plasma and magnetic field in the solar corona. I actually worked at Cullum as a sort of summer student when I was an undergraduate at the end of my first year. A long time ago when they were first designing JET, I, I did this summer project and I, I realised that was, you know, re really fascinating. But then I went and did a PhD in solar physics, which was also very interesting. And I think the interesting thing about solar physics at that time is there was an incredible amount of, of new data from space observations. And really when I got into the field, it was really the beginning of space observations at the sun. And so for the first time, people were looking at the solar corona from telescopes in space. And they were getting images in X-rays, which we can't do from the Earth's atmosphere. So from the Earth, you can only see the corona in a total eclipse, which is obviously very limited but really you want to look at the x-rays and to do that you, you, go in, you go into space. And I say when I came into that research field those observations were really very new so we were learning a huge amount about the corona that it was much more complicated than people thought. One of the things that fascinates me also is we've got plasma, this fourth state of matter, and that you can, with the same sort of physics, with the same mathematical tools, I can look at plasma in a tokamak and it can be for fusion and it can be very practical, or I can look at plasma in the atmosphere of the sun. They're both plasmas, these you know, extremely hot ionised gases. They've both got very strong magnetic fields. And I think there has been quite a lot of transfer sort of backwards and forwards. In fact, the very idea of magnetic reconnection and this process is what we believe is responsible for solar flares, which are sort of huge explosions in the solar atmosphere. It's also responsible for how the solar wind interacts with the Earth's magnetic field. So the Earth is, is sort of shielded by a magnetic field, but the solar wind is crashing into that and we have a process of magnetic reconnection causing them to interact and it's really in those fields in solar flares and in the um, Earth's magnetic field where the concept of magnetic reconnection was developed and it was only later that that was realised that sort of thing could be going on in tokamaks as well. I think interdisciplinary research in some sense is always beneficial because you know you, you don't want people just stuck in narrow areas they can always learn something from another area with plasma physics people can learn a lot from there's different methods that are used in one area and then people in the other area can you know learn from those in whichever community you're in you could learn a lot by finding out what's going on in the other community Certainly ST40, it would be interesting to look at that, what that does, yeah, because I think we could learn a lot from, from looking at the reconnection and I say potentially comparing with um, simulations, so that would be really interesting. 